Hello, welcome to episode 12 of Baldur's Gate Descent to Avernus here on Venture Ventures. The Bean Squad, as they're now known, we made it to hell. It finally happened. And what happened last episode was the gang made it to Candlestick. They turned in some of their particularly evil... uh, treasures that they recovered from the Van Thampers to Silvira, and uh, Silvira kindly sent them to Traxagor, uh, a wizard she knew who owed her a favor, and uh, when they got there, uh, he's an otter and likes being an otter, so he <laughs> stayed being an otter. And they also met uh, Lulu, the Holophant, uh, H-O-L-L-Y, Fant, just like how Elephant is spelled. Um, and uh, she's went with him to, to hell. Uh, Traxagor cast a plane shift spell. And everyone arrived uh, to hot stinging air, assaulting their senses. Uh, the city streets in which you currently stand are lined with buildings that are crumbling, if not already collapsed. The ground shudders beneath your feet in the red, smoky sky. Above you, a 400-foot diameter sphere of darkness discharges strokes of bluish-white lightning that strike the city at irregular intervals. Uh, perched atop a distant bluff overlooking the rest of the city is a crumbling, crumbled fortri- fortress. And... Traxagor gazes up at the black orb, nervously utters a few arcane symbols, and disappears in the blink of an eye. Anyone who's would like to can roll an arcana check to, to uh, well, let's just see what you guys roll. Was that magic? <clears throat> I mean, yeah, he just... I, I, I have a negative one. I'm just asking. 21. The <laughs> 21. Uh, anyone else? No? Uh, 14. Sorry, Mike was muted. Yep. Um, so, Jarvis, you think that considering how quickly it, it seemed like he was... He only cast one spell... And he was able to disappear, but it wasn't anything like you. You think the first one might have been something you've read about, and most wizards have read about longingly. Uh, you think he cast Time Stop, giving him enough time to uh, get the heck out of Dodge because the Plane Shift spell requires a long rest. So he needed to get clear of the bad, probably cast fly on himself and took off to hide out until he can cast plane shift to get back. Uh, But that's what you think happened. Uh, Pretty sure of it. And uh, also before you, uh, I sent you the map. Mm -hmm. You guys are on the eastern end on the main road that goes to the wall. Uh... And if you go in, <clears throat> excuse me, if you go in two streets on mm-hmm. the right, uh, you're at that intersection. That's where you landed. And about a block, um, a block ahead of you, it's you, Lulu, and Rhea. You see um, around a still standing structure uh, a woman with two toddlers, one in each arm. And she's running towards you guys. And in her wake amble three infernal monsters with glaives and snake-like beards. And they're chuckling to themselves, muttering something uh, about what they're going to do to their souls of these people. What do you do? I cast Divine Sense um, and approach with my weapons drawn, waiting for the... They're running towards us, you said? The, 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 yeah, the woman and her two... <clears throat> Are they, like, about to get overtaken? 
yeah, it looks like they're, I mean, she's got two toddlers and so she's obviously okay. not running at full sure. speed. Um, and, uh, the, 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 uh, bearded devils are looking at you guys also and, um, are starting. It looks like they're coming after you. So we'll roll initiative. Got it. Can I have divine sense up? Yes. Uh, so they're not, um, the mostly I'm interested in the people. I'm pretty sure I know what the, uh, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's not. Yeah, it's not like uh, someone from the material would would cast seeming on themselves to be right in hell. Yeah, that would be funny. Um, no, the woman and the toddlers are a woman and toddlers. Got it. Yep. I remove these dice out of jail, and so far it's given me two good rolls. Good. What'd you get? Uh, twenty. Ooh, I even got a good roll. That never happens. On initiative. What'd you get, Kairos? 19. Rollercoast? 10. And Jerry? 16. Pretty good overall. Oof. Can you guys hear my talk over the mic? Yeah. No big deal. Though, a little bit. Yeah. It's pretty quiet. Yeah. Jake was just barking. Yeah, he just just nervous. Tick. <laughs> She's not happy with someone outside. I think. <sighs> Intruder alert. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, uh, as you guys begin to engage these bearded devils, you uh, the woman gets the hint about what's happening and she veers off and hides behind a half broken wall that's crumbling and um, Jarvis you're up there are three bearded devils okay so Jarvis yells stay where you're at and fires off a firebolt at one of the bearded devils okay and... let me know what you got yeah I um, miss by a long shot Fires off in the wrong direction. Bummer, dude. I rolled a two. Yeah. You can attack twice now? Uh, wizards don't in this case, unless you're a blade singer. Uh, but you do, uh, Jerry, when it's your turn. Anything else, though, Jarvis, for now? Uh, how far away from them am I? Uh, 30 feet. Okay, I'll keep my distance. Okay. <clears throat> we got up next Kairos. Can I reach the demons running past the people? I run past the people. Yeah, you can run. You'll yeah, you'll intercept for sure. Uh, and they're peeling off because they know they can come back for the souls of the woman and children, and you pose a bigger threat. So they're peeling off towards you as well. Excellent. Um, so I sprint at them, um, and as I do. My eyes glow a different radiant color than they have before. It's gold this time. Ooh. It's something new. Um, and instead of flame enveloping my arm, you know, starting up in my horns and enveloping my arm and weapon, um, it's a gold silvery glow um, as I cast Branding Smite with my Legacy of Avernus Tiefling ability. Um, <clears throat> and then I thwack the one I can reach twice. Okay. Uh, we'll say it's Blass. That's the name. Got it. Um, I hope I hit Blass with a 24. Indeed. Indeed. So that's going to be the smite hit. <clears throat> then the second hit is a 23. Yes, both hit as all three of these guys' beards are kind of levitating, uh, half animate, uh, looking to strike. You smack them. And they say to you when you smack them, Half-Breed, what are you doing here? In Infernal. Gotcha. We all understand. Pretty uh, Yeah, everyone Almost, speaks. I think. Jerry might not. All right, so the no, first yeah. attack does nine points of regular damage mm -hmm. and seven points of radiant. Nice. And then the second attack 
Ugh. Does seven points of regular damage, bludgeoning. Okay. Uh, the damage Magical looks... bludgeoning. Yes, yes. <laughs> <clears throat> the damage looks like it's fully going through. It doesn't look halved or doubled in any way. <clears throat> and that's that. And I just respond quickly, smiting you, right before I smack him in the face. Nice. Jerry. Jerry now with Jerry takes mall. out his yeah Jerry takes out his brand new mall and he just kind of like looks at it and he like flips in his hand once starts Damn. running he starts running uh right at the uh bearded devils and he swings at the closest one a 15 to hit yes actually nice so that's 13 damage okay and then I got to roll. And then the second, he swings again at the same one. Uh, and that was a 27. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. And that's 11 damage. Okay. Didn't roll too well on the damage, but. I mean, I think rolled you did. Well on the, uh, rolled well on the Nod. actual hits. Nod, the name of the bearded devil you just hit, thinks you definitely hit them him pretty hard and i forgot to say that i'm i'm raging okay cool bonus action rage initiated first uh okay it is now blast's turn it's gonna go after the paladin who just smited him and uh how rude what that's ridiculous yeah all right that's what i wanted how dare he <laughs> I'll be right back. I just need to inform the family I've not shot the dog yet. Uh, to Dude, clarify oh. to those uh, watching or listening, <laughs> given uh, the dog, it's shot. shot. I should say uh, it's insulin. <laughs> it's a diabetes dog, and uh, we're not shooting dogs. And to explain to the viewers, the shots that he gives sound a lot like yes. gunfire. Twelve so. gauge. So don't, so don't be alarmed. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> Uh, okay, so you're getting one with its big glaive, Kairos. That's a 19 to hit. <sighs> yeah, it hits. <laughs> Gets through. And that is... And and every time the dog gets its shot, it, 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 it makes a sound that sounds like an entire family screaming. It's all, it's it's a whole. Wow, it's, they I came it back from, to something. From puppy dumb, your dog. It, it, they, they trained it to scream like a family of humans. To oh. clarify, his dog that is still present tense alive. Yes. Um. Uh. So it's seven slashing damage, Kairos on the glaive. Cut. And. Okay. That's, and then it's going to make a beard attack as its needle, hypodermic needle ended beard uh, dreadlocks reach out to sting you. If I block this, I parry it with my horns. That would be awesome if you can do that with a 24. Oh, that, no, no, I can't. I try. You, sure. You should try <laughs> that. You should try that with everything. That's why I'm growing this out. Dreadlock it with some hypodermic needles. That's a. <laughs> Uh, 10 piercing damage okay. and make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Well, that's bad. That's a, that's a 4. Okay, you're poisoned f right now. Ouch. Ouch. Bummer. Okay. And that's Blast's turn. It is now Lulu's turn. Oh, the I'm so excited. little holophant. Go, Lulu, go. Lulu, what do you want to do? Speak to me, character sheet. Uh, hmm. Does Lulu things. Ooh, yeah. I mean, ooh, I want to do that one. I think. <laughs> okay, Lulu is, is going to... Kairos, you speak Celestial? I believe I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, anyone who speaks Celestial hears her go, Not today! And she runs up, and uh, she's going to, out of her trunk, 
shoots with with great vigor sparkles at she's lined it up so she's only getting the the uh, three bearded devils but she's now shooting sparkles it's a trumpet of sparkles and uh, I gotta do a bunch of saving throws golf claps Lulu golf claps oh my goodness it's a seven a seven and an eight that's full damage I happen to have glitter right here, so I'm going to glitter my D20 in honor of Lulu's I appreciate wonderful that. performance <laughs> right now. Remember, you're also going to glitter your dice box in the process. Oh, oh my desk, and it's a good okay. thing. I didn't even I didn't even give them disadvantage on their saving throw because they're evil. So, and you guys were sparkled. She, I'm changing it. You guys were sparkled, but since you're good characters, all of you, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you don't take. You don't have to make a saving throw, but they take 19 points of radiant damage and get screwed up by this stuff. All right. That's that. Um, I'm actually neutral. Does it matter? Uh, you you're back. You're not in the melee. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. No, I'm you... chaotic neutral. You're neutral. Make a mm -hmm. uh, saving throw then. I won't make what, you make a saving throw. Forget it. What type I, of saving throw? Don't oh. don't worry about it because I said the opposite uh, before. Okay. So we'll do it uh, go ongoing. Uh, it's now Nod's turn. It's gonna go after you, Jerry, for doing those hammer strikes, mall strikes at it. Bring it! Bring it! It's gonna be. A, a 19 on the glaive. Yes. And a 17 on the beard. Uh, yeah, they both hit. Okay. Make a constitution saving throw for the beard. I have advantage. Uh, do I? I have strength advantage, I think. Yeah, it's just strength checks. Okay, constitution. Uh, Seventeen. Yeah, that'll that'll do. Uh, you don't you feel the poison enter you when you take the five piercing damage from the beard, and the glaive hits you for thirteen slashing damage. I'm not so having, eighteen total. Uh, yeah, I'm not having. You can do the having for me. Uh. Got it, did it. Cool. That's Nod's turn. Roll a coast. I wish it was an odd number. Yeah. <laughs> it's always nice. Roll a coast. All right. Um, which, do any of them look to be seriously injured? Yes, the one that uh, first Kairos attacked. All last. Right. We're going to pop off here. So the one in front of Kairos, we're going to bonus action. Hunters, mark him. And then we are going to first attack, then Dread Ambusher, then second attack on him. You can change, though, like, on your... Like, if... Let's just play it out. Yeah. Yeah, if he dies, I'll... So the first hit is a 24? Yes. Yas. 13 is the AC for these guys. That's wow, that's max damage. That's 14, that's 19 damage to him. Yeah, with one arrow, you uh, actually hit one of the dreadlock tentacle beard things. Go the arrow goes straight into it lengthwise up through its face and disappears, but it falls dead. And that's a bad thing for a devil in Avernus because. There's no coming back from that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The second attack, I'll move to the one in front of Jerry because it's been hit. And then that's going to be my Dread Ambusher attack. That's going to be a 29. Oh, yeah. By, yeah, not even close. 
seven and a one, that's an eight plus five, so 13 damage to that one. Okay, very wounded. And then the third and final attack, 21 to hit. That You get three attacks, that's amazing. Only on the first round. Oh. Then it's down to two. And that's a one, so six damage. Well, that's enough, because you just killed two of these guys, and the guy who hasn't had his turn yet is very scared. If you knew devil facial expressions, you'd think this one was scared. Maybe it's not scared. But as the DM, I'm telling you, he's very scared. Beautiful. Anything else? How far away are we? Am I from them? You started 30 feet away. Everyone started 30 feet away. Jarvis is the only one who's still 30 feet away. Uh, I will just... I'll stay at 30 feet. Okay. Uh, it's now Rhea's turn. Do, 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 do. Oh, right. She's with us, too. Yeah. I'm going to try not to forget her this time. <laughs> but Angry I'm... Rhea. Make no guarantees. All right. Good job, Rhea. Not good job on the damage, Rhea. Rhea runs up and she attacks Thune and with one strike misses and the other one connects. And she's going to take a defensive, start to take a defensive posture if she had the ability. Uh, but it is now Thune's turn. Thune's going to try and book it out of there. So the three of you who are in melee range, if you'd like an opportunity attack, you can get one. I would. Heck yeah. That includes Rhea. I miss. Oh, damn it. I definitely miss. Rhea doesn't. She hits. Good job, Rhea. And does way more damage than the last attack she connected with did. Smacks it in the back, scarring it. Icker, uh, steaming Icker, flies off her sword as she goes back to her ready stance. And uh, Thune is going to just run, uh, use all of his everything to run. Uh, and we'll get back to the top. He's now, yeah, 60 feet away. And 60 feet away from the melee guys, 90 feet away from the ranged peoples. Jarvis. Jarvis is going to take out his shiny new magic wand and throw three do three missiles in the range at is this 90? dude running away. It is 120 feet. Fantastic. How much damage? Twelve damage. Yeah. Foo, 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 foo. Poo, poo, poo. Hits him in the back. Starts to go down to a knee. Makes it back up. Very injured, although it's getting harder to tell now as it gets farther away. Anything else? I'm going to actually gain some distance on him, so I'll run. How far did he run that first one? Sixty. I'll run sixty feet. Or I'll run my uh, thirty feet. Yeah, I mean. thirty. Sorry. Uh, so now you're uh, 60 away because you were 90 before. Yeah. Uh, excellent. Kairos, I don't think he's going to make it to your next turn, but uh, Kairos. Um, I am going to go ahead and give this uh, give this Heaven's, heavens Fall a whirl. Do it. And I batter swing it. I you know, go up to bat and I just swing it and, and launch a guiding bolt from it um, to try and hit him. And so it's just, is it going to use my... Second level so, guiding bolt. Yes. And it will use my modifier? Yep. Okay. Nope. No. Way off. Oh. I rolled, a, I rolled a two. That's my second two in a row. Nevertheless impressive, because you're shooting a guiding bolt out of your mace. It's a pretty mace at that, as I sent the artwork to Brian a little earlier. It is now... I thought you were surely going to smack it dead. I had hoped. Jerry, I know. I you're 60, 60 away. From the uh, escaping one? Yeah. 
There's only one left and escaping, yeah. I run 40 feet and I throw my javelin. Excellent. Do it. Uh, that's the wrong type of dice. <laughs> that's a 10 sided or 12 sided. Uh, let's see. Uh, javelin. That's an 18. Yes, that, that hits. Nice. Nice. Ah, five damage. That's all you need as you launch it with a nice, beautiful arc. It comes down on, between its shoulder blades. It's infernal shoulder blades, we'll call them, because I don't know why. And it will pin him into the ground, and he will slump dead, impaled by the javelin, starting to slink down <laughs> to the ground. <laughs> And Jerry goes, uh, looks like that devil's wearing nada. <laughs> I, I'm not sure I got it, if there's something to be got. It it makes zero sense. Okay, okay, excellent. Lulu, Lulu lets out a trumpeting go. That's the best I got for trumpet. And uh, you guys are out of initiative as this... Um, Jerry goes and retrieves his javelin. Okay, yeah. I have to say that. Yeah, you got it, and you head back to the group unless you tell me otherwise, as this mother and her toddlers uh, run up to you and are very, very thankful. Uh, her clothes are, all of their clothes are just in terrible condition, partially burned in places. Her, she says, my name, thank you so much, my name is Harkina. I thought for sure they were going to get me. Where did you come from? Where? Where? Do you know where you are now? El Terrell. This is kind of more like Hell Terrell, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> this is... We pre-established the title of the episode to be... We did. Yeah. Um, and she says, I don't know what's happened. I figured... I figured somebody I thought this was maybe a dream or it's a very long and terrible dream it can't be that realistically I, I just didn't know and I thought High Overseer Thavius Krieg would be fixing this anytime soon he's so great he is just the best and Rhea steps up rather menacingly and goes he's the one who brought you here and brought this city here. He's not great. He's garbage and he's dead. I killed him and I mushed him into jam. And not wrong. <laughs> she's still lying about what happened, but um Harkina Arkina gets real scared and one of the kids goes, Cool and then the other kid is just kinda hanging on to his mom and Harkina's like No, are you, are you serious? All right, I'm gonna. I'm calling this right now. That kid is the only one of these three that make it out. <laughs> I say. I say that in front of them. And <laughs> my group. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna make it out. I'm gonna make it out with them too. Yeah, sure, kid. You got spunk. You, got, like you got spunk. <laughs> you want to go, kitty? Oh, I lied. Ooh. None of them are making it out. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's got a mouth. I thought he, I thought he had spunk, but he's got a mouth. He does have spunk, but it's just the... <laughs> not going to go well for it's him. Not the good kind. Not the good kind. <laughs> um, so Harkina <laughs> says, oh, "Hush now, hush." And um, she says, "So many of uh, El Terrell's uh, citizens died when we were drawn here, and." Plenty have died since, and I thought we were about to die as until you came, and these terrible creatures have been killing us and stealing food and making it hard to find food and water. But we found some in the basements of buildings and have been hiding there, and I had to... ran out, and so I had to leave the, our safe hiding spot, or safe was relative, and we were hiding in the basement of a tavern, and... Um, yeah, it's just the city. We've heard that it's split in two, right down the middle, and there's no, 
there's a, two bridges dividing the city, but there's it's guarded, and um, guarded by like what? Know. And where's this basement? Do you know where the tavern is, or did you lose track of it? I That's... mean, there's nothing there. We ate all the food and water. No. You didn't leave any beat? Whatever. No, that's why we had to leave. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's just... You always leave. Do you know what it's guarded by? Uh, these who? Things like that. Things like what you just... killed. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, man. I don't know. I guess I... I we, we'd like to make our way to the... cathedral. To the high hall. And she points up to the what you saw coming in. Uh, big fortress. Yeah, big fortress, w- w- whitish color. You think maybe in a different scenario it might be a beautiful, uh, marbleish type of uh, light marble color. And uh, she says, "I guess we'll keep trying to make our way." I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and venture a guess that you do not want to go there. Um, keep well, in mind, Krieg brought everybody here, so if he's the top of El Torral, I'm still not sure of power, that. Listen, lady, find a basement and uh, keep that kid's mouth shut. He's he's, he's he's just I can't. I'll be honest with you. I I don't know what he's gonna bring when he's a teenager. It's not gonna be fun, but. Um, yeah, just find a basement with some water and food that you can stay there. Ration it out. Um, good luck. Thank you. I just shrugged my I body. mean, thank you. I'm not going to add... Yeah, thank you. This is a terrible situation. <laughs> thank you for saving us. Who knows what would have happened? Uh, probably something that's going to happen in like 10 minutes. What? Nothing. No, you're, they've been you're, here a you're while. You're doing great. If she's yep. made it this long. I'll protect yeah. her, the kid says. Yeah, good for you, bud. Yep. Kitty, kitty, kitty. He starts saying, Oh, I will murder you. <laughs> I just killed two of those. Yeah. You're um... nothing. <laughs> um, I just... It, the, the, the picture of a giant cat person no, is just... <laughs> really makes me chuckle i always just picture the cheetos guy okay yeah uh that is a giant cat person yeah you need sunglasses though right doesn't he wear we all have dark vision but doesn't the cheetos guy have sunglasses yes yeah he does thank you for helping me out with that one (laughs) um so you have the map and harkin is gonna go find a basement uh you have the map what would you like to do where would you like to go there you see the two bridges well i would like to first uh travel in a little more style as we stroll through the city and i uh, mutter some infernal and i summon up um a infernal war horse um, what black with a like silver mane and tail um and like eyebrows and ears uh it also has two big curving horns that match mine on the top of its head nice and it's got a really sweet saddle and i just hop on it and i'm like "Mm." you got another one of those there's a great great view from up here guys i'll uh keep watch in your head you hear lulu say to you oh that's a pretty that's a pretty horse what's its name i love horses I don't know. I haven't talked to her yet. I'll uh, chat with it on the ride and let you know. You want to ride? About... You're tiny. You could sit up here on front. Yes, front. please. I have some really great suggestions. I have about fifty so far I've compiled in my head uh, for names. What about what about a uh, pointy prancer? Uh, no. Okay. Well, that's fine. <laughs> I have forty nine more, and uh, she gets on your horse. And uh, what, so where would you guys? Well, I don't know how you guys feel, but there's this big bonfire uh, rager party happening just south of us. Looks like it could be fun. I would like to attempt to grab my three arrows before we leave. Okay, you can do that. Also, so do you see in the across the gap 
on the southern portion of the western half of the city. Yep. Uh, you see that kind of on that rise, it's, you see like a castle wall type thing. That's the place that um, uh, she was trying to go. Uh, and it looks like she was on the wrong side of the river. <laughs> You know, it's a real shame. This place has probably been looted pretty bad already. If we'd gotten here earlier, probably would have had just, like, pick the litter. All these buildings are probably ransacked by now. Hmm. Shame. Shame. <clears throat> well, I've never, uh, nope, I've totally been to Alturel. I know the city well. <laughs> <laughs> Took, take that back. Um, is there any, like... Rhea knows it well also. Rhea also knows it well. Well, as far as I can see it, there's a huge town square on this side of the city that we could check out, because that's probably a place where something happened or people congregated, and maybe a bunch of people died. Couldn't tell you. Or we could just head to the other side of the city, I and mean, that's where the castle is. If if we're going, Rhea says, if we're going to, if older Ravenguard is still alive, he'll be at High Hall. And memory, should... memory uh, reminder... Uh, Ravenguard was the leader of Baldur's Gate who was tricked into going to El Terrell while Krieg was not there because Krieg knew what was going to happen. And, uh, yeah. And also the leader of the uh, Flaming Fist. We can I say we go to where we can talk to the most people. We don't know exactly where that is. I mean, we can definitely, like, make our way towards the castle by way of the town square just gotta get the lay of the land i mean i mean are both exactly of the bridges the up north there they are but i mean yeah. you know, you just go roundabout we'd know what's going on on this side of the city which might be valuable information later sure. on the other side of the city or we can just go for the bridges i mean then I just feel like we There's going to be a lot this. of wanton murdering at the bridges, I feel like, <laughs> on our part. Oh, yeah, there's going to be a bunch. <laughs> um, <laughs> Thank wanton. you, Dave. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's There'll definitely be a lot be a of a starch lot of in those streets. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, so the two bridges, we're near the two bridges. Oh, got it. You are here. Got it. Yep, I gave you a you are here. Um, I mean, we can make our way either way. What do you, what do you say, guys? I, I vote figure out what's happening over here, where we are right now. Kind of take a look around. see what Yeah, I feel like have. once we're on the other side, we're not going to want to come back. So Exactly. These bearded devils, they didn't have, they're not wearing clothes and coin purses, are they? Uh, no, there's no, uh, there's nothing like that on them. They're wearing uh, light armor. I'm just making sure they're not carrying a pouch of soul coins or something like that. Uh, you can investigate. I would love to investigate. I'll go way over there to that dude that take off, took Seven. off and investigate him as well. Okay. Roll your investigation. Seven, you don't find anything of value. Sounds about right. You want mod 20? You don't find anything of value. I was just taking a look, see if we could find some of those soul coins for uh, what's her face, you know, shopkeeper. We also, you know, don't have any, you know, usable money in this, this area. That too. So I mean, we might maybe. need to find a way to exchange, possibly. Maybe. We don't know that. The humans here may still take gold. That's entirely possible. How do uh, they know? Everyone make a perception check. Humans might also be dead. Perception check. There's no more humans. <laughs> mod they twenty. Take their stuff. Eight, mod or eighteen. Eleven. Oh, and I got off my horse to look. Dave. Perception. Uh, sixteen. So everyone except Kairos uh, hears. Uh, a weird noise it sounds like the wind at first but you're not thinking it's the wind right now it's it's something like <laughs> and then um yeah that's what you hear 
what direction did it come from? Uh, west. Did you guys? Did you guys hear that? Yeah. yeah I heard no, that. I was I was getting back on my horse. Uh, hear what? Sounded that like weird. Some loud, windy wheezing. Windy wheezing. Sounded like your horse, but dying. Sounds like some sort of like, <laughs> like mechanical, like vehicle or something. Well, do you want to head towards it or away from it? We should probably decide. Towards Definitely it. towards it. All right. It is. And I spur my horse towards it. Not at a gallop. I'm just trot. Trotting. Okay. It sounds like, uh, not my character saying this, but it's, it sounded like one of those like. One of those little things that like follows a train where like two guys are like <laughs> 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 just a lot of squeaking. So uh, two uh, intersections or two streets from where you are currently forward west. Uh, so another four cross intersection. Uh, you see a bunch of ghouls uh, as they keep making noise and run around the corner and we're going to roll initiative there's no stealthing happening so uh, we're just going to go straight into it ooh, ooh, ooh. 20 to 15 or above 20 19 16 nice gosh what's wrong with you Karis? 10 <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a horse, okay. I think uh, roller coaster should be first every time, right? You would think so, but no. The dice, the dice don't agree. doesn't think yeah. so. <laughs> What'd you say, Kairos? I'm sorry. Ten. Yeah. All right, Jarvis, you're up first. There are six ghouls. One of them is wearing fancier armor than the rest. Um, I'm going to do what I do and I'm going to tap myself and a shield of armor protects me. So I cast mage armor mm -hmm. and I am going to have some fun and I'm going to bonus action shadow blade. Nice. As a magical blade appears in my hand. I'm thinking, Brian, help me remember... You can't cast to, like he could cast Shadow Blade and then a Cantrip, right? Correct. Yeah. Um, I wasn't listening. Not a problem. Yes, you're right. Uh, Jarvis, so I've allowed you to do that in the past, but you can't cast like two of your spell slots. Um, it's an action economy thing. You so like if you use a normal spell slot as a bonus action, what is that noise? Oh, there we go. It's gone. Um, if you uh, use a normal spell slot... Yeah, I keep hearing it still. I don't know what it is. Um, I, I don't hear anything. Is it I hear it. It's like a static. So that means it might be you if you don't hear it. A periodic static pop. Yeah, that's what I was hearing. Um, uh, yeah, so if you use a normal spell slot as a bonus action, you can cast another spell as a cantrip using your action. Uh, so you have to use does that make sense? yeah so I can't bonus action and action both of those because it's two spells got it so I will just cast the mage armor then okay alright and I will leave it at that alright and keep in mind all of you are about 10 feet away from this gang of ghouls I'm actually going to run know how many ghouls there? opposite six. direction Ooh, six ghouls so got... I'm going to go to where I am uh... about uh, 60 feet away okay and they all have crappy, like, light armor, except one of them is kind of nicer looking. Uh, they all have th more flesh on them uh, than, say, a zombie. Not that there's any frame of reference there. But their jaws are all distended, and uh, tongues are sticking out, and it's just gross. So how far did you move? I'm sorry, Jarvis. I went to where I was 60 feet, so I moved... Uh, I'm sorry, I went. I can only go 30 feet, so I'm going 40... I'll be 40 feet away. Yep. My bad. Too far. Okay, one of the ghouls is going to run up and try to pull Kairos down off the steed. That's 
rude. It's gonna try Very to. Very rude. I'm pretty sure you'll be fine, because uh, you're strong, right? I am strong. Roll your contested athletics. Yes. Ha, I win. Twenty six. Yeah, because <laughs> it rolled a natural twenty, but that's only a twenty one. So because I rolled a nineteen. Yeah. I'd say uh you're fine. Uh but he's just you know, he tries to yank you and you're like, Wow, this thing's pretty strong, but you stay saddled. Um and uh that's gonna be its turn. And another ghoul is gonna go up to Rolikos and attack with a bite. A four to hit won't hit. And now it's Rollercoast or Jerry's turn. Jerry, you're next. So the closest one is the one that tried to bite Rollercoast? They're all pretty much within 10 feet of you, Jerry. Okay. I just get my maul out. I'm Smash like, it. here we go again. Let's see. Are you uh, no. Okay. A 21? Yes. AC 12. Full damage. Yeah, you smash the shoulder of one of the ghouls. Basically, his arm and shoulder are nearly severed because your maul is amazing. Okay, um, and then I hit the one next to him. Yes. Uh, that's a hit. And. And 10. Yep. And again. This time it's a part like, of it. Come on, leg, leg fall off, leg fall off. Okay, you went for the leg. Yeah, I'll yeah. say um, part of it's it's hanging, hanging on by a thread, a tendon, a decrepit, decaying tendon, uh, barely standing up. Anything else? Nope. Okay, Rollicos. All right, I'm gonna take the opportunity attack and back up. Okay. One of them, he's, yeah. I mean, he attacked me, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to decide if he oh. would, but yeah. Uh, it's a miss. It's crap. Okay, now I'm going to use my feline agility to actually move 60 feet instead of 30. Nice. And then I'm going to pop off my three attacks with sharpshooter. The first one's a three. So that's a total of eight. Nope. AC is 12. Okay, so the second one is 15, and then the Dread Ambusher attack is a 24. Yeah. Which one are you going for? The ones that Jerry smacked? Yeah, the first attack will. Okay. So that's a 1 plus 5, 6 plus 10, 16 damage. Yeah, you your arrow on impact of this ghoul's head, uh, it explodes and jerry does just goes like ha oh. like oh. <laughs> took my kill <laughs> protecting you <laughs> and then my next attack will be you said there was one that was slightly better geared looking yeah than the rest all right so the second attack i'll take it to him and that was a 24 with sharpshooter yes and that's the dread ambusher attack so that gets an extra one of these Fucking ones. Okay, seven. So that's eight plus five is thirteen. Twenty-three damage. Just enough as you hit this thing. Uh, it it you hear a, a metal hitting metal sound as it kind of hits the collar of this armor and goes into the ghoul's neck and through the spinal cord and it just crumples to the ground. As it was, yeah, it's just dead. Nice work. Thank you. That's it for me. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty good. So, uh, Kairos. Well, I've been reading up on mounted combat because it turns out that's a thing I need <laughs> to know. You. So thank I've you. Thank you for doing that. Running through a quick primer on that. <laughs> um, this independent mount with fine steed it raises its intelligence to six yep. so it is considered an intelligent mount yep. 
uh, which means it gets its own initiative, uh, which is seven. Okay. So I have no movement while I'm mounted on it. It has its own turn and can take any actions because it's intelligent, as opposed to an unintelligent controlled mount, which can only dash, disengage, and dodge. Moving on. My turn as Kairos, I'm going to smack that zombie in the face. Okay, do it. <laughs> uh, 26. Yes. And then another hit, 23. Yes. Are they fiends of undead? Uh, yes. Hooray! My mace lights up. Uh, first hit, 10 points of regular, 1 point of radiant. Dead. Cool. Is another one within reach? Uh, 10 feet of you? Uh, not quite yet. It's 10 feet uh, away. Ah, crap. This was the, horse the one has that ran up turn. to you. Yeah. Yeah. Nope, we're all good. Okay, uh, then I can't reach it, so I will do nothing else. Okay. It is now, was Ghoul 3's turn, but he's dead. It is now your mount's turn. Sweet. My mount is psyched. He is going to, uh, he's got 60 feet of movement, so he's going to circle back a little bit to build it, you know, gain some ground, and then he's going to uh, initiate his trampling charge. Nice. Which is a 20 feet foot charge straight towards a creature. Um, and instead of the hooves, he's going to use his horns because he has them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, so the attack, there it is, is a 19 to hit. Yeah. It does... 10 points of damage, okay. which I think kills it. Does uh, it kill not it? this one. Um, then in that case, it needs to do a strength saving throw against a DC of 14 or be knocked prone. Just makes it. Ah, oh, bummer. But he did get charged. Yes, indeed. And me and my mount are going to hang out right there next to it. Okay. Uh, you're surrounded by the other two as well, uh, because That's they had fine. yet to act, so just... Uh... And it's... Ghoul four and five's turn, and they're going to try and claw at you. It's reasonable. <laughs> so twenty three and a twenty two. Yes, you're reasonable, ghouls. Uh, that is three slashing damage and three slashing damage, and I need a Constitution saving throw. You're no longer poisoned. Sweet. Constitution save was 15. Save. Uh, I need another one for the other one as well. Oh, right. 16. Yes, both saves. You're good. It's now Rhea's turn, and she's going to run into the action and try to end one of these things. That will hit. And... The hardy one that the hardiest one she takes a swing at and that will do a good amount of damage on it right next to you now it's Lulu's turn where did I put Lulu she stay on my horse yeah she's still on your horse um, sweet Gonna do another trumpet of sparkles uh, at these three guys. If you're good, you're not affected, but they have to. I am neutral. Okay, so make a constitution saving throw. That would be a 17 for me. That will do. My horse is also neutral, and he is a 13. You and your horse take 11 radiant damage. I don't know. It's You do the radiant damage stuff. I don't know what you're... Yep, yep, yep. Um, and... <laughs> she takes out two of these ghouls with her trumpet of sparkles. <laughs> and one gets its face 
ascent what's left of its face just ripped until there's just a sliver of skin left and it's barely hanging on its face was essentially trumpeted off with sparkles and it's now its turn and it's going to try to go after lulu and making a lot of sense in this scenario doesn't even come close it's missing and swinging at nothing uh, and we're back to Jarvis, 40 feet away. Jarvis is going to shoot some more magic missiles out. One is going to go and hit the one that is hanging on by a thread. Yep, there's there's the only one left. Oh, cool. And that is... How many do you use? Well, then I'm gonna, well if there's only one guy left, I guess all three of them go at him. Okay. Um, so he's going to go bye-bye. 11 damage. Yep, that's enough. How many charges do you have left? I only use two charges. Each time you can use, it does... It's, so each charge... Um, I thought each charge was one bolt. One... Uh, uh, did I misread it? Well, maybe I misread it. You create three, so... Yeah, when you cast it, it says... You create three glowing darts of magical force. Each dart hits a creature of your choice. A dart deals 1d4. And then it says at each level, at each, uh, when you cast a spell using a spell slot higher than second, the spell creates one more dart for each slot slot above first. Okay. But maybe I'm... Yeah, it's fine right it? now. Okay. Um, I'll look it up after. I, d I don't quite understand it because it's weird that I get three with one charge and then it, like if I use yeah, two that charges I only sense. get four. But the way I read it, yeah, it's uh, I get me, three darts. Uh, sometimes when you look on the character sheet, the spells are truncated and therefore hard harder to understand. It could still be hard to gotcha. understand. Um, yeah, I, do, I can tell you when I change it to second level, it says three darts plus additional dart. Yeah. So. Uh, it's fine right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you guys are out of combat. There are five ghouls with crappy light armor and one with some doesn't look similar armor on. Jerry just picks up a, like a femur and he just like slams it on the ground. He's like, God damn it, roller coaster. Just like, let me like knock one of these ones into pieces. It's like my favorite thing. I'm, I'm trying to make sure you stay alive. All right, my man. I'm, t I'm here for you. <sighs> Lulu, those sparkles. You gotta, you gotta watch those, man. Oh, I cast cure wounds on myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought I didn't. You know, it horns. doesn't. Horns. Horns. I have horns. Ouch. Are you evil? No. You promise? Yes. I tried to be one. So I had a really cool shield. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> I attempt to grab my three arrows. Yep, you find them. Uh, 19. Yep, uh, she goes, okay. Well, I'm sorry. Now that I know, I'll be more careful with it. Uh, is anyone here evil? I'm neutral. Neutral to what? <laughs> it's like I don't take sides. I just, I just do my job, protect my neighborhood, I'm trying to save my family. Oh, that's but... good. So you're kind of good, too. Anyways, I've got this... My, we're, my... All, we're all at least a little good. None of us are bad. Okay. Good guys. We're good guys. And she, she pats you on the shoulder with her trunk, and when she does, your piece of your armor on your shoulder lights up with light. And she goes, Oh! What is... I didn't mean to. That's amazing! I didn't even know I could cast light. I can do that now. I guess I'm getting cool. my my mem my memory back. It's real bright though. Oh yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, I I I'll take it off. I'm sorry. Oh, do thanks. You, yeah, no, real cool though. I do you remember anything else other than being able to make a bright light? Yeah, you know when um. I was kind of moving slowly in these two fights because I kept having like 
I'm trying. I remembered some stuff, and it's come. It's kind of coalescing in my head now. And I think I was wandering Avernus, which is where we are. And then I hid in a place called the Wandering Emporium. And I remember making a friend there. His name was Mahadi. M A H A D I. I remembered the spelling because I asked. <laughs> Maybe he can help us. He was a, he was a, I think he was a person or a kitty cat, a different cat than you, but like, yeah. Did he have wings? We used to have, we used to know a cat with wings. No, he didn't have wings. He dressed very well. He, he ran the wandering emporium. Cool. Uh, I, I think it was my friend though. We were good friends and. Maybe we Ooh. vacation together. Ooh, does being in combat make you remember stuff? I don't know. Maybe it's like things I do here it kind of jogs the memory. Like you go to a different place, do a different thing. Um, you think maybe if we all like attack you, you might remember everything? Like if we slap maybe, you around a little bit? Maybe, but I don't think so. I think like because I started remembering once we got here, like as soon as we oh, okay. stepped foot. It's just like the longer I've been, I was trying to put together the the memory once I got here. Maybe it's, I think it's more like I, I go and do something and it's somewhere where I've been before or my memory gets jogged in some way, shape or form. I don't know how it works. I didn't even, like my memory was messed up. I thought I just had a bad memory. Maybe somebody did this to me. All right, let's go, let's. Let's go do something, and maybe we'll get more of your memory back. Would I know where uh, <clears throat> the Wandering Emporium is? Uh, no. Well, Would Rhea know Rhea. where the Wandering Emporium is? Uh, Rhea says, no, there's not, that's not a place in Elturel. It must be a place here. Here in Avernus? In Avernus. Oh, Hell Shop. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll find out uh, they take gold. But I think One way or another. Lulu says, but I think, you know, we should possibly go try to find uh older guard Raven guy, the Baldur's Gate guy. Yeah, probably. It just it's it's that's way up there. I mean you have Once a horse, it, it's not that tiring. I not so much tiring, it's just a lot of demons between here and there probably. Be I say we go. Yes, go ahead, Jerry? Jerry. We should go to that that big building over there. Yeah, the high hall. Isn't that what what that nice lady said with the kids who were nice? Also, it's just giving me a bad. Yeah. I mean, how nice can she be? She's in hell. Oh no, that's a good point. But we're in hell. What does that mean? Well, we came here on purpose. That's true. But also, what does it mean <laughs> that we wanted to come here? Uh, I don't know. I'm already kind of out of my depth. Yeah, hopefully my memory will make me put me in my in the shallow end, so to speak. You know. All right, and Jerry takes Lulu by the hand, and he starts, he starts like, like trotting up the hill. Yeah, she 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 uh happily grabs your hand with her trunk, and she starts very soft, like the fur. It's. Uh, hairier than a normal elephant although oh my god you're you feel like silk thank you i you know i i'm blessed is 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 it so yeah come on guys where do you guys want to head to one of the bridges yeah yeah we'll head to the uh well, southern bridge i guess we're can we to other can we stealth <laughs> i <laughs> I've got this cool new spell. It's going to make us great at it. Oh, great. But I got this cool new spell, and it's a horse. Yeah, <laughs> but it's going to draw attention. That's the point. <laughs> or not uh, the point. Can, yeah, I get inspiration? I, can we get inspiration to Kairos for that quote? Yes. <laughs> I, I, I guess I'm bleeding a lot. Um, maybe a <laughs> oh. attention would be okay. <laughs> I can help you with that. Would you like me to cure some of your wounds? I would. Yes, 
seeing as <laughs> you caused some of them, I think that would only be fair. I think, yeah, but we both made a, an oopsie, so... We sure. both? <laughs> Did we? Yeah, <laughs> we both made an oopsie. Yeah, Cairo, stop making oopsies, okay? We, okay. Six, six health. Thank you. She goes, I'm real sorry about that. But, yeah, I hope, hopefully I can help you. I can only do that a couple times, and then I get tired, a little tired. It's hard being down here in hell. Yeah, I, I get it. Uh, then take a nap. Then fire Zoom missiles. <laughs> All, right. So, All right, Domino. Uh, nice to meet you. See you later. Everybody, gather in. Name. Need everybody a little bit close for this one. The horse poofs and it's gone. <laughs> no and then uh, I cast pass without a trace once everybody's within 30 feet of me. Okay. Do you request that they stay within 30 feet of you? Please. Okay. Do they wait? Does it say that? Jerry is kind of ahead with Lulu. So you're going to have to farther than 30 feet, so oh, you're going to yeah. have to wrangle them. We'll yeah, just yeah, slow yeah. down a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to gather everybody. And be like, all right, stay close. All right. Uh, you so you guys head. Which bridge are you heading to? The northern or southern? In the southern, southern is closer. Southern. Okay. Do you want our stealth rolls? Yes, I do. How big Add... is the gap between <laughs> two sides of the roll? One second. Add Deadly. plus ten to whatever you rolled. I guess, I mean, yeah, that does make it better. That silly cat thinking it would make it good. Mine is phenomenal. Mine's a 14. Mine's a 35. 26. Oh, wait, plus my is a real bitch. <laughs> it sure is. You can say that again, Kairos. <laughs> Sorry, what do you want me to roll? Stealth. Oh. And then add 10. Wow. 30. Okay. So you guys start heading on to the bridge. To the bridge. And the crumbling buildings around you, you see, sometimes you see, I think you see someone looking out. One of the scenes you see heading towards a bridge in kind of a co partially collapsed basement. Inclusion detected. What it detected? I don't know. It My house just told me intrusion detected. That's scary. Now, did you turn your real camera on so we can see if someone's creeping up? Please, dude. <laughs> right? This is terrifying. It's just a dude in a scream mask. <laughs> Gary, please, for the... It, turn There's it like off. A little, if a little devil comes out of the background... <laughs> no, this is worse. Well, it sounded well, like... Gary's dead. So it's take your like... dumb background off, please. <laughs> Jake's gonna have a <laughs> I'm trying, dude. There's no off button. Hold on. I'm trying to remember if I have Gary's address so I could call the cops. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> would it okay, so would you prefer would it be better then since since you're worried oh if God. if we did that view so you can see the door behind me. There yes. you go. Yes. Yeah. Um, we'll give you that half second. What I think yeah, all the difference. Your tiniest little bit of warning. Gary, you're about to die. Okay, so I know what it was. Apparently, so I tried to. So I have a. Um, an intruder. Omar. You have an intruder. <laughs> I'm enrolled. In, I'm enrolled in this thing called Omauer, and I get money back for cutting power. And it turned off my lights to cut power, and I turned them back on again. And instead of turning the light back on, it turned. I, there's an there's an office. There's two devices called Office. And one of them is called Sonos. And when someone when my alarm goes off, it says intrusion detected, and then all the lights come on, and then they turn red, and I have all these like effects go off. And apparently, I mimic that. And... Sonos is the name of the cat burglar right behind you. Yes, but now you can see behind me. So if I'm gonna get killed, you know. Man, that was real Control. terrifying. <laughs> Intrusion if you get killed, it'll be on Twitch forever. Uh, right. I had a dream that we were doing this, and someone had someone like someone was murdered—not murdered, but someone was attacked. 
That was actually on two weeks ago's episode of NCIS. That I, actually happened. I on do the not TV. watch that show. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Thank God. Um, so apparently, there's some great material there to use for Dandy. And, and, <laughs> and, <laughs> and for Jake's dreams, apparently. And um, for dreams. So you guys are heading out, and you see this imp <laughs> talking to this halfling and his family. Three people, three halflings. You see this imp talking to this uh, family, and he's saying things like, "Just sign the contract. Just sign it. I can get you the month of food. Just sign an, the." Stupid. An imp is like a tiny, tiny little devil. Yeah, it's a tiny. Uh, do I have Kairos. a picture? Yeah. Kairos. Yeah, we had a picture of it before. I think it's an imp. That's an imp. He's talking so. about he's talking about contracts. Uh, gotta watch out for those. That fine print will get you. Should been we burned. Kill? Yeah, I mean if he's if he's telling people to sign contracts, that's a terrible. I'm already not cool with him. And it's an imp. How yeah, far it's away is it? Imp? It's like thirty feet away. Oh, I can probably decimate you, this you, thing. Yeah, you can pick him the, from here. The halflings right? are in between you and the imp right now. The imp could see that's... you if you guys weren't hiding so well. Um but it's just focused on getting the halfling to and the halfling's kind of turning around and looking around and looking nervous like maybe it's having he's having second thoughts about signing this thing i can get you the month of food if you just sign the contract oh, i take my three shots at him okay with disadvantage if you're going um, to i have sharpshooter oh well never mind fancy so the first one is a 28 to hit yeah the second one is a 15, and then the third one's the Dread Ambusher. That one's good. That's uh, 18. Yeah, two of them hit. Fantastic. First hit, 13 damage. Yep. Second hit, that's 11 plus 5, so 16 damage. Yeah, so your three arrows go... Foo, foo, foo. And two of them land on the imp who gets pinned to the wall and is dead. Can't even, it didn't even get any like cute impy retort. So it's dead and the halflings are terrified and looking around and they, they can't like see who, where it came from necessarily. You guys are hiding amongst the rubble. I want to do like a quick perception check to see if there's any more threats sure. nearby sure, before sure, sure. I approach these people. We can talk to them without approaching. Well, I want. I need my arrows back. I don't know when the chance is that I'll get to buy more arrows out here. I'm being very self-conscious of my arrow <laughs> amount. <laughs> so, a note to self, hide your arrows while you're sleeping. I've got a bag of holding. It's 18 <laughs> for a perception. Yeah, you don't think anything else is... You think, like, devils are trying to get some easy pickings of souls uh, amongst these desperate people. Okay. So... I don't know why... I, I put my hand on your shoulder right before you step out and just, wait, wait, what? this is going to be great. And I cast Thaumaturgy on myself and I... My voice booms out, and I just say, from, oh, from our hiding spot, and I just say, Hail your saviors! It's just three times louder than normal, so it's not like... It's not thunderous. Sorry. It's not thunderous, but <laughs> but very loud. <clears throat> yeah, it's but pretty loud. I just I let them react to it for a moment. And they duck their heads, and they're sees you guys coming toward are you guys walking towards them yeah and then i yeah. step out and i'm just i'm just fucking with you <sighs> <laughs> gotta keep a sense of humor did down you here, do right? th you did Am that right? you did that oh you thank you so much i was worried about this contract right here yeah it's, don't sign anything it's made of here. skin it's made of mm -hmm. skin mm -hmm. when you guys pick up the contract it basically says yeah he goes i was I was going to sign my soul away for the month of food and water, but then I started having second thoughts. I mean, this is a devil. And you, those of you who can read Infernal, you read that it says, amongst all the jargon, actually, I have to make you make an intelligence check, so we'll do that first. Boring, but let's do it. Uh, Infernal readers, make an intelligence check. Trade intelligence? Doesn't matter. An uncharacteristic 16. Nice. 20, 
22. 11. So Kairos and uh, Jarvis, uh, it's very convoluted text, a lot of circular reasoning going on that leads to nothing, that it's just like, why is this in here? But you gather that it guarantees that his the rest of his family's souls would be given to the imp as well for the month of food and water uh and um yeah that's what you gather from the contract uh, see here you go what was i saying roller coast contracts it's a bad thing you look at the fine print uh dude your entire family's souls were would have been uh forfeit i've been burned by these before you got to watch the contracts i'd like to search the imp. okay um okay I want to so the intelligence the check arrows. is basically to read the read the, <laughs> the convoluted legal language to reveal the. Yeah, you already read infernal, but it's basically to find a find the trick language. Got it. Okay, so it's all like written in infer. I can't read it. Jerry can't read infernal, but the other three characters yeah. they all read it and they're like, oh. Or Kairos is the only one who's like, hey, if you check and you follow this logic, then. Yeah. He puts his lawyer hat on. Got it. Yeah. Essentially, Kairos is just like, that doesn't sound right. And Jarvis is like, no, that's definitely not right. It guarantees <laughs> family is... So, so if Kairos had just rolled a little bit less, we'd all be going like, that eh, seems like a pretty good contract. No, Jarvis, Jarvis <laughs> and Jar rolled Jarvis, I also oh, okay. rolled a 22, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, but see, I used to... Uh, when when you broke this, like that, my I, that's what I used to do for my family. I'd be I, I'd have to go in and I'd, I'd, well, I didn't take souls, but in, if this were, were my contract, I'd be coming in to take your family's souls, and, and it's just a terrible, terrible situation. You should really pay attention to what you're doing here. Uh, let me uh, let me give you my, my my information, and I take out my pad of paper and start writing like a two-year-old child to give them my name. Like, if you ever, if, if you got contract questions again, uh, here. Okay, thank you. Do you have any food and water? What? Uh, I got some cat snacks they're not it's to... not cat snacks <laughs> it's human food well yeah but it was for a cat originally so i figured it uh, it's dry it's it's some dried meat chunks uh i suppose i don't need them because their cat's not around uh here you could eat them we're also in the hell don't give away your food well, I mean, that's... all right all right also while while I'm while Jarvis is searching the imp, yeah, uh, is anyone still holding that contract? Uh, if you are not, then Kairos can, or maybe is not. Uh, it's can, skin. Can, Kyro, can just for fun purposes, can Kairos be holding it? Yeah, I, I, I'm holding it. So I cast. Um, assuming I can, I'm reading this properly. I cast press digitation to light a light the uh, contract on fire, and it just kind of starts bursting into flames and. Yeah, sure. Burns up, vanishes. Yeah, it doesn't quite vanish. It's not a clean. It's well, skin, so it's not gonna like. It's not like dried, uh, okay. super dry paper. So it's gonna like. There's gonna be greasy <laughs> stuff coming off of it. Oh, I mean, you have to do that, Jarvis. <laughs> no, you di you didn't. To be clear, I was doing it while I was off searching. Like the you did not. Like I was away from you, and I did it so you did not see me do it. I did it. I tried to not be obvious, is what I'm saying. Also, your passive is not good, Kairos. That's 10. That's not good. <laughs> That's average. <laughs> so you have no idea I lit this on fire. Yeah, it just started burning. It's still like, I still just hold it. I'm like, oh, this stinks. <laughs> <laughs> it's... Oh, God, signs of bad contracts, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> 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 this like... literally stinks. <laughs> yeah. Stinks. It, 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 it light a contract on fire next time, just the corner of it, see how it smells. It smells bad like this. Bad contract. And the halflings <laughs> are all looking back and forth at you guys talking <laughs> and just like taking it in. Uh, you find a soul coin on the imp. I have a soul coin! Do you know it's a soul coin? Or do you find a coin? You find it's you. It you. It's a large coin like this big. And it's got infernal language that says, one second. Soul coin. <laughs> this is a soul coin. It, it probably says soul, honestly. Like, Does it say whose soul it was? Uh, let me check. Hey, that'd be fun. 
like is it hitler oh man that would you wouldn't find that on an imp it's this just a true. it's just a one dollar sold coin so, ah. you know. i was just i just finished it's gotta be a higher so i know all about the sold coins can you see it no re oh there we go yes yeah Um. Uh, I gave you a decoder for the infernal language in the pinned material, so you could decode that if you wanted to. It's it has a um, transparent background. I don't know how that happened, but yeah, yeah. it's kind of hard to. Yeah, it's real hard to read. <laughs> yeah, because of the transparency. I'll get you a better one, but you can still make out some stuff if you wanted to. So if you right click and click open link on Discord, you can actually that, open it in a browser with a white background. Genius. Uh, did you guys, you guys didn't grab that armor off those gas or ghouls, right? Oh crap! One of them did have better armor, didn't they? No, we didn't. Okay. Well, that's my good DM deed for the day. Uh, reminding you about that. If you want to go back, you can. Yes, I would like to go back and look at the big guy's armor. It wasn't a big guy. It was just better armor. Yeah. Yeah. Slightly. Uh, are you guys going with him? Yeah. He told sure. Us. Okay. We're gonna get into another oh, encounter God. just for this armor. This reminds right. me, guys. I forgot that uh, I was I was sitting up on the horse, so I wasn't close to him. And okay, you guys uh, head back. I'll me. use your normal stealth, <clears throat> what you rolled previously. But I will roll this dice. Okay. Um, you you <laughs> go to the <laughs> ghoul, and uh, <laughs> I like I like rolling that way now. Like when I'm doing an encounter roll, I'm just gonna I'm gonna roll this. <laughs> it just goes flying. Um, uh, so you find some nice magic armor. Oh, that's. It's even better than I was thinking it was going right. to be. It's studded You've been leather. looking for armor this entire game, and you finally got it. It's, it's studded, studded Maybe. Leather. It's studded leather, and underneath it, when you're pulling it off the dead ghoul's body, it's a plus one studded leather armor, and you also find an explorer's pack and a potion of something. Drink it! Um... Um, I, I take clear, the Explorer's Pack. It's clear silvery liquid that swirls silver and then goes completely transparent where um, you can't see anything's in the glass. If you guys give me some time with this later, I can figure out what it is. Uh, yeah, sure. Here, you can hold on. Take it. <laughs> Don't forget, we have a magical yeah, backpack I was now. just going to say, I w can we put this in the magical backpack? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Who's carrying that? I have the bag of holes. Roll a coast. There you go. Roly poly coast. Put the armor in here too if you're not going to wear it. Uh, I don't think I am. Stud I can't remember what stud and leather is. Oh, where the fuck did I Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. That's it, what my rogue wore. It, what does stud and leather give? It is a light armor, 12 plus dex. Plus one? 12 oh, plus dex plus one. Okay. It puts and me it's the magic. same ace. Oh. Maybe should I put that on? It gives me the same AC as I currently have, but it's magic. Will that stop anything? I don't think so. Theoretically, uh, can't like melt from acid and stuff like that. Well, we'll keep it in the backpack. I don't know. We can throw it in the backpack. Don't yeah. we sell it? Make some money, buy something better. Yeah. yeah, that's true. So we throw it in the backpack. Bag of holding. Roller coaster can take the studs off and use them for something else. I need to start a bag of holding tab. You do. And uh, heading back, um, you see climbing over one of the decrepit buildings as you're sneaking back, you see a large avian evil-looking creature that I will put the picture in the chat. Oh, you must be very evil then. No, I mean, he's kind of charming in some ways. Charming? Kind of charming. Chat or in Discord? Uh, in Discord. Looks like that. Um. And you hear it saying... Did you 
put it? Oh, I sent it to Brian. I got it. I, <laughs> I was like, yeah. I don't see it. I sent it to Brian. Brian, can you push? I, I know what it looks like. Yeah, I can move. Thank you. Um, whoops, a daisy. Uh, it's climbing over the house. Any of you speak abyssal? I believe I do. I do. I don't. Nay. Jarvis, you hear it going... <sighs> What's the point of all this? Why am I even here? This isn't even home. Why did they send us here? Why am I doing this? I guess I, I mean, that's what I was made for, but I don't want to do this. That dude over there is talking to himself and I think he hates his life. That's, uh, that's, that's not a dude, that's a... Uh... It's a thing. In it's an it. 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 Yeah. That, that it, it over there. Oh, uh, well, of course, you think you can you, you can pin him from here? Oh, I mean, how far away is he? I'm sure I could easily. If we can oh, hear yeah. him, no, I can. No, you're a sharpshooter, him. too. It's <laughs> yeah. Like two, yeah, you're fine. Yeah. I, will yeah. also I could hit up to 800 feet, <laughs> I think it says. I will also assist you in that hit. But actually, I don't. He might not be. He might not be bad. He's he seems to be contemplating his why he was sent here. He may be he may be able to help us instead of killing him. You hear but now I can't go back because they're gonna kill me because I deserted the blood war. He deserted uh, the blood war that sounds like he's probably on our side. Maybe all right, I'll kill him. take on my javelins, but we're going to stay right here in the shadows. Uh, should I, I, I don't should know I start... what he's saying, so you can go talk to him, and if we see something shady, we uh, fill a full of javelins and arrows. How far, how far away is he? 120 feet. Beautiful. Just the exact distance message will go. Um, scare him. So I'm going to scare him. <laughs> so I pop in his head, and I say... Who, what was the blood something you said again? Sorry. Blood war. I pop in his head and say, what's that about the blood war that you you abandoned? And without a beat, he just goes, oh, yeah, I just left. Just cause I, what's the point? I, why am I even existing? I'm just there to... And then he goes, uh, hello? Hi. Uh, hi? Hi? So, what about the blood war? Where are you? I'm in your head. I mean, you're somewhere around here. I'm not going to hurt you if you don't hurt me first. I don't... I'm not into that sort of thing. How can I trust you? You're going to have to... Tr you, you have to choose. I mean, it's really... With anyone or anything, you have to choose that. Alright, well... Walk over and... And I tell him the general direction we're in, have him start walking over so our party can be kind of, and I go to my party and say he's gonna come over here and he might want he might be friendly. And he climbs down off the building and flies down to the middle of the street and is just kind of shoulders slumped and is just kind of almost um it's, it's like <laughs> If a rock could be de depressed, it's that sort of posture. <laughs> um, you would definitely think it's depressed if you knew what that looked like. Um, and uh, I mean, he was talking to himself. He sounded pretty depressed. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm here. Just please don't. I'm just gonna stay in the middle of the street. Please don't. Um, I'm not gonna come over there just because it could. You could just kill me, and I just don't want to deal with me dying maybe i do i don't know is he speaking common now or still abyssal abyssal okay um i'll talking some weird noises at us I, I, I sure it sounds kind of sad but it sounds aggressive. similar to infernal but different words yeah i don't don't worry guys i, I speak his language he sounds he sounds like he hates life right now. Um, He's having an existential crisis is what this rock is having. Yeah. 
So I'm I'm going to actually approach. I will approach him and go walk over towards him. Okay. Um, my friends over here, they don't they don't speak, and I'm saying this all in abyssal. They don't speak your language. Do you speak common or any other language? No, I mean, I can speak telepathically to each person, but I'd rather just speak abyssal. As I, I guess I can talk to all of them, and it says to each and goes into all of your minds and says. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. So, God? So who is it that you abandoned, and why did you abandon them? There's this blood war between demons and devils, and they sent us here like they send us all the time through the river Styx to fight and try to take over this... try to take over the Bator, this level, and then... I assume if we took over Avernus, we'd go to the next level. I'm just kind of like, what's the point, you know? Is Avernus the top level? Yeah, that's the top level. Um, I guess it's all it's all weird, and it's similar to the Abyss, where it's layered, but also not layered, and it's not necessarily like a cake but it is like a cake. It's all weird. Anyway, it's tiring to think you, about. You sound really over all of it. Yeah, I'm sick of it. It's just like, what's the point? I'm just going to go die in, in this war that never ends. I mean, maybe. You're not Do you yet, right? come back when you die? No, I die, I die for good because I'm, uh, I'm here in Bator. Or I go back to... I'm not really sure. I go back to the abyss, maybe, but then I get punished by someone, probably, because it's the abyss. Wait, whoa, Jerry, do you come back when you die? No. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I guess I don't know. So, do you know your way around this place pretty well? No, I just came up here to get away from the war. I, don't, I know that there's some demons trying to come up here, probably. Like, um... But they're trying to keep us away from here because I think the devils want it for something. Do you know what they want it for? Um. Well, souls probably. The devils want it for souls and to enslave the people who are left. Um. It looks like the chains underneath. It looks like it's pulling it down to the ground of Avernus. Because if you can't tell, we're floating in the air. Mm -hmm. Oh, we definitely saw that. Do you do you know if uh, do you know about anything that's going on, on the other side of the bridges, perhaps, or you make know a, what's going on in that castle-looking thing over there? Make a persuasion check. Uh, fifteen. Yeah, he goes. Hey, you guys seem okay. Uh, so at each bridge, there's two bearded devils and four spine devils. Uh, they're both two, so two groups of each, like, at each bridge there's that many, and then, um, they're pretty stupid, though, and they just, they're so stupid they just hang out in the middle of the bridge, which doesn't seem like a tactical thing. I'm a, I'm not supposed to be tactical at all when I was supposed to be in war. I was just supposed to go throw myself into the war machines and get killed, probably, but, yeah, so they're just in the middle of the bridge they try to maintain a vigilant watch um and uh yeah the demons have like a portal somewhere um around Elturel that I don't know where it is but I know it's here and I was hoping I could find a portal to get back to home or get back somewhere else where's home it's the 77th layer of the abyss i think i think it's a 77th whoa it's that either it's either the layers. 77th or it's the 6077th <laughs> do you think, well, the good do, news is if you don't get it right the first time you only have a couple others to check i mean yeah that's true it's a few thousand or so no big deal do these? Do, do you know about any weaknesses they have? The the devils. I mean, I assume they're weak to. You know, like. Like, 
probably balls. weak to to her pointing at Lulu and Lulu goes uh yeah I mean are you this is weird I feel bad for you but I also feel like I should kill you this is an odd feeling but I'm not gonna kill you because you seem like you're having a tough day and the rock says thank you yeah I just want to go home All right, well, you say there's a portal somewhere in this town? Yeah, I don't know where it is, though. You don't know where it goes? No, I I you, hope it goes home. Maybe, do you think maybe you can ask, you know, one of your coworkers? They're down there fighting. Yeah, he just said he deserted. He has no more coworkers. The ones up here won't, won't talk to you? Those are devils. They'll kill me. Hmm. Do you know what color the portal is? No. I assume hmm. it's going to look a lot like that, pointing up to the sky, that 400-foot lightning coming out of it. I assume it's going to look similar to that. Do you think that is it? You could try to fly into it. I've already tried. It didn't work. And I got hit by lightning, and then I just got tired, and I fell. Are you able to uh, carry anything while you fly? No. Well, that's useless. I guess I am useless. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Uh, before you go, do you know what? Do you know about anything in that that fortress-looking thing over there? No, like I said, I just came up here. I'm trying to get away from the war. So the war is going on down on the ground. And oh yeah, if you go over the bridge, you'll probably be able to see some stuff. Mm. And we're going towards that. Probably be bad if we landed, huh? If the city lands, oh yeah. 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 Maybe we can can we break the chains off? Uh they're pretty big and you'd probably need some special tool or something. I'm sure you could. Wink wink. <laughs> I'll have to keep that in mind, but chains. uh we should probably Ooh. press on. It sounds like we uh we're on a time frame here. I don't think Zariel would let you do that though, so What do you well, do you Real quick, know where Zeriel is? No, I'm a demon. She's a devil. So there's two types then, of fiends. There's demons yeah, I was and just devils. curious if you knew if there was like a major enemy like camp, castle. What no, was your what are you trying to get to? Because I'm assuming if you're portal. gonna take over this slayer, you have to, well, your orders. Oh. Prior. Yeah, we were just well, I don't know what my orders my orders were just to go throw myself into the fight. Okay. I didn't have, like, I had no one under me that I was commanding. I, gotcha. I didn't know of any orders. Gotcha. Is there any general area, you know, up here that we should avoid? I mean, there's roaming devils when I came up here everywhere. I try to avoid them. Um, but I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably just going to hang out here until I feel better, and then I'll probably go find, look for something. or I don't know what I'm going to do, but yeah. I'm going to leave you to it. Thanks for listening. I really appreciate you guys listening. Yeah, yeah. Hang in there. Yeah, yeah I mean, if you're, if you're flying around and you, and you see us walking around later, feel free to say hi, I guess. Yeah. Anyways. So what was your name, dude? Uh, Vrarik. Right. Never met one of you before. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> now, that, that was all... Te- uh, telepathy going on in your guys' head that conversation. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right, well, then I guess we press on. Flies up. You just fly us over the freaking. He's too skinny. Look at him. His pretty aren't that strong. Pretty pretty skinny. Yeah. Uh, so you guys heading to the southern bridge? Yeah. Yes, we are. Use the same stealth roll and. Coming up as, on it. As we're walking to it, I'll pitch to the group. So uh, are we just going to kind of charge across the bridge? I, I can bring my horse back. I, I, I was thinking maybe we could also cause some sort of a distraction and make them go somewhere else, and maybe we can sneak past without even fighting anything. Really? I mean, if they're in the middle of the bridge, it really depends on how long that bridge is. Uh, that's true. Who's we may have to just... <laughs> I mean, I could probably 
just start volleying at them and they're either going to run at us or away from us. Okay, so you go on the far side of the bridge, uh, on the other side, they start shooting them. They run at you, we cross the bridge. You well, how do I get across the bridge? No, <laughs> no. What, what if I make you invisible? Can you be quiet? Like, if I make you invisible, can, can, can you I be quiet? I'm the like... quietest one here. So maybe, maybe unlike, you know, the incident of climbing over the wall and creating a big ruckus, like, <laughs> You know, a while ago, maybe if I, if you can sneak let's, over there. Let's go see the bridge. I don't know how wide the bridge is. Let's look at the bridge. That's a good idea. As you guys are coming around the corner, you see the bridges, and it's hard to tell. You think they're over a hundred feet long, but from as you're coming at them from the side, so it's very hard to tell how wide they might be. Make an intelligence check, all of you. Matt <laughs> twenty. Nice, Jer. <laughs> 16. 15. So Jerry's had some experience with bridges, especially from this angle. Maybe he liked to paint them or something, but he liked the specific angle. Um, Jerry, you think that it's about 20 feet wide? Um, I think this is about 20 feet wide, guys. Pretty confident about that. I mean, Jerry, you and I could just kind of make our way out there and start throwing them off the side. Wait, do these ones have wings? How big are they? There, you fought, um, yeah, we fought the before. bearded devils just a, a, today already, um, and you fought spine devils before, and spine, spine devils... Spine devils are nasty, because they attack with their tails. Yeah, I have some pictures here, I think. We were also okay. a lot weaker when we fought those spine devils. Sure, so spine oh, devils true, are like our winged. Yeah, How many are there, though? Four spine devils, two bearded devils. That's a lot, though. What size are they, though? Two people. Medium, or I, I believe the spine devils are medium, too. They could be small. I'm not sure. Uh, Jerry, two people and a horse. So, we, I mean, there's we have options. We can try to do some sort of distraction. Um, I can give them something to look at that might keep them interested. We can maybe disguise ourselves. I believe two of us can can disguise ourselves as them. We could just murder them. Or we could just all, murder I'm them. Or what you guys want to try if you want to try a plan. I'm not exactly I can give you more details about the bridge if you'd like. Sure. Um, I... No? What? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Yes, please. Uh, so approaching it, you see the rift that uh, was described to you. Uh, it divides El Terrell in two sections. The riotous din of battle is is growing from below, between the rift down, 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 below to the ground uh, of Avernus itself. Um, and it echoes up through the jagged open chasm. Uh, you see the bridge that you know is 20 feet wide, more than, more than 100 feet long, spans the chasm. You see holy runes etched into the stonework of the bridge, indicating the structure has been consecrated in the name of Torm, god of courage and self-sacrifice. Six infernal creatures that you were told by Vrerik would be there, are there, and they stand guard in the center of the bridge, scanning in all directions. I say we just kill them. I'm all for it. Can if we're on that how far away is the second bridge like if we're on that bridge will the second bridge see us no okay it's kind of on, on a curve too as well so but we'll find out what you guys do next time we play no oh! well you, you <laughs> I mean makes sense before we launch yeah no I, I didn't realize <laughs> I didn't realize what time it was mm -hmm. sorry but bum, next time, bum, bum. I get to break the horse back out. I can be across that bridge in moments. I could shoot like seven shots or eight shots before they could get to us. Yeah, I also, <laughs> have, I also have like 120 feet range. Yeah. So wow. we'll find out next week. Thank you so much for watching or listening, however you're absorbing this content, this hellish infernal <laughs> content. Uh, we have yet to figure out a way to... We put out a tactile version. I was just about just... to say that we haven't figured out how to do a tactile version. Uh, but when we do, we will definitely implement it. Uh, yeah, you. I'll do some plugs for myself. And if you guys want to do hop in after I'm done, 
Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Jake Friday on Instagram at What in Tarot Bang. I changed my name just because I like that better. Uh, and um, I play in a Star Wars game on Saturdays at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 Eastern, uh, called Vagabonds. You can catch me there on the Roll for Change charity channel. That was a that was a tongue twister. Uh, and um, yeah, anyone else have anything to plug? No. Nope. Cool. Uh, be excellent to others. Be excellent to yourself as well. And we'll see you next time. Intrusion detected. Oh no! Oh, here, here it comes <laughs> Gary's. Gary won't be joining us next time. Apparently. <laughs>